So we have you here. Um, I'm Alex, this is Peggy, and um, yeah, we are glad to, to have you here. And um, yeah, we want to open the, the third Pirate Security Conference um, here in Munich. And uh, the second time with, um, nice yeah, to have you we're here. working today um, together the uh, second this time with, with the Munich uh, Security Conference yeah, and, to and um, a side um, event. Um, yeah, and we yeah, to uh, today uh, uh, the motto is uh, uh, well prepared yeah, for yeah, things I'm to come I'm Alex. and uh, we are happy and to have you uh, here and Paki uh, will uh, 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 make the introducing. And, um, Thank you very much. Yeah, we want to open the Thanks Alex. Third. It's uh, my second Pirate opening Security of a Pirate Security Conference. Um, Last year was uh, also on a panel uh, with uh, Birgitta Jonstot here uh, and Jelena Jovanovic and it's always a pleasure to be here. So I will start my opening uh, and won't last very long, like five minutes. I think that's enough. Dear visitors, I extend a warm welcome to the yearly Pirate Security Conference 2017, which is the third conference in a row. Thankfully, sponsored by the company Cerberus, together with the pirate parties of Austria, Czech Republic, Germany, Luxembourg, and Switzerland. As usual, we, we are hosting our talks in cooperation with the official Munich Security Conference, which doesn't mean we are in one line with all political agendas and leaders there. So, uh, But in our opinion and understanding of policy, it's very important to give an additional view and inspiration on the topics connected to the pirate ideas of technologies in policy of open government, freedom of information, data security, and human rights, just to name some few buzzwords. The concept of this conference is quite simple. Each year, we're going to meet and talk and discuss three days long about special security issues in the online and offline world together, uh, with uh, particularly informed and specialized lecturers and experts from all over the world. Here are some name dropping of personalities which attended our conferences in the last years. So example given, the Australian scientist and author Dr. Rob Imre was here, the German author and lawyer Yvonne Hofstetter, the Swiss lecturer, advisor and coach Stefan Koch, the Icelandic pirate parliamentarian Birgitta Jonstutir, the chief research analyst of IT Harvest Richard Stinian, and Professor Dr. Gabi Dreo Rodosek, German expert in communication systems and network security, just to name a few of them. And uh, there are for sure a lot of pirates uh, discussing and having talks here as well. So what's all about? We have three main topics on our agenda for this conference program. The first agenda is called New Dimensions in the Threat Landscape. The second one is global governance, norms, rules, and practices. And the third one is conflicts in the 21st century. I will have a look on those three topics and get a little bit deeper into it. New dimensions in the threat landscape. So new technologies challenge the recent foreign and security policy and question the actual concepts of all states worldwide. In particular, conflicts in the so-called five the dimension, the cyberspace, the internet, networks, the blurring boundaries between internal and external security are increasing. Propaganda and attacks on the economy of a state become part of everyday life since. But rarely, such attacks can be traced back to its roots. I guess everybody in this room and before the stream did already talk with its colleagues and friends about the increasing impact of topics like conspiracy theories, hate speech, fake news, and political highlights such as Brexit or the impact of WikiLeaks and Putin on the election campaigning of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Journalists, scientists, politicians, and activists actually are facing several challenges and threats in the whole debates on social media, networks, and in the common columns of online magazines and newspapers. Fact-checking and investigative journalism are getting more and more important. The impact of combining big data and analytical algorithms on society and election results 
is still to be explored, which is going to be an interesting talk by Veselin Popov with his talk, Big Data and its Impact on Modern Society Tomorrow. The next point, the next issue of this conference will be global governments, norms, rules, and practices. Globalization means the encounter of different cultures, each with their own mentality, their ideas, actions, and lifestyles. Yeah, but for a fruitful and forward-looking, long-lasting cooperation, a common foundation is essential to establish. As we all saw the, yesterday, the free trade agreement CETA between Europe and Canada was accepted by the European Parliament. This could have been a great opportunity between two countries or two bigger groups of countries and their societies for negotiating together with civil groups and people from every day for a fair trade agreement. But concerning the influence of a lot of lobbyist groups and economical interests, this big chance is nearly gone and I hopefully uh, think that CETA is not going to be ratified. The three cornerstones of the basis of cooperation consist primarily of negotiated standards and laws and lived practice. Especially with the setup of common norms and common standards, political institutions have been overhauled by IT business and technologies. But what opportunities and risks arise from the transnational corporations and of the private sector? What responsibilities do beer companies on human rights and justice in the, in the international community? Those will be the questions which are going to be discussed on this conference as well. And last but not least, oops. And last but not least, we talk about conflicts in the 21st century. That's the third topic. The violent conflict of our limited resources is as old as humanity is itself due to climate change and the continuous pollution the competition intensifies, however visible. Not only for the economy essential com uh, commodities such as crude oil and rare earth ensure conflicts but increasingly fertile land and fresh water supply. Simultaneously, smaller existing wars continue. The Islamic, Islamic State had questioned the territorial boundaries of entire countries in the Middle East and also the seven years of peace in Europe seems more fragile than ever because of not only the Ukraine crisis but the national movements in many European countries. The choice of the racist demagogue and economic friend Donald Trump is the result of a capitalist system that has become immeasurable. It has grown too much greed and torn deep trenches between up and down. It has produced too many losers and too much uncertainty. This revenge now. Even the hanged is very good in the West compared to the rest of the world, but they do not see it because they were blinded by the promise of economics that it will go on and on to the top. But that's only in the case for the super rich, whose Olympus is farther and farther away. So people feel deceived. They need valves for their anger. They need something they can get up to. They need enemy, they need enemy images and nationality and nationalism. This is going to be a tough time for Europe if Putin, Trump and Erdogan are deciding who gets what and where in the new world of despotism. Seriously, if Europe does not sort out very quickly, we will have to learn quite bitterly what geostrategic and geopolitical superiority really means and how an unimportant morality and nobility are. We will be surprised. Brexit and Trump were just the beginning. Now it is revenging that Europe has weakened itself in national, to national competitiveness and has shown no consensus between the national states. So we have some fears to talk about, but we have also to talk about opportunities as you see here. Um, 
I won't last it longer, I won't talk any longer. I hereby open the third Pirate Security Conference and wish you all a pleasant and inspiring debate and impressions. Thank you very much. Have fun. So thank you very much.